Hi everybody, it's Kim Wilson. I've been talking a lot about celebration and uh, we're getting towards the end of the February and it, it's going to be over really soon and this is the only celebration we're doing uh, for Stampin' Up! this year. So um, January and February this year and then not again until January next year. But I wanted to um, show some more projects with the In the Country stamp set. Um, What's your favorite kind of uh, style of stamps? Um, these are really intricate, fine ones. I t tend to go to the bold and um, bold ones and not these ones uh, that are so intricate, but they are gorgeous. The artwork is beautiful. And so I gave it a try. Um, I did a little watercoloring before, and I think I showed you this one before um, with a watercolor paper, and, and it turned out pretty good. So I've seen a lot of just gorgeous things done with watercoloring. And if you stamp it, I stamped in, in black, but if you stamp in um, Sahara sand, you can do the no-line watercoloring where it looks like you totally did all the watercoloring all yourself. So that's a fun technique. And then that one I showed you before where I used the vellum um, for the background here is so simple and elegant, great for a guy, and with the classic matte dots there. But I have two new ones to show you today that I just threw together really, really quickly yesterday. I saw a couple cards online where someone had added um, some of the dies from the... Um, greatest journey stamp set and bundle to that um the stamp with the um the little path and the fence and so all i did was just stamp it in black and i stamped the sentiments from from the greatest journey and then added three three of the die cuts so it has the the hiker the runner and the the mountain biker here so some fun um fun dies to play with and also there's tents and then um, there's also dies that cut out um, the flowers and the trees so it's just a really nice bundle and um, I just love how these turned out so I, a tip for today I just wanted to mention that um, when you're just doing mats it's um, nice to have variation in the sizes of the mats so I think um, yeah, the standard size here is five and a half by four and a quarter. And then you just subtract when you're making your mats, just subtract. So I've got, uh, I think, a quarter inch uh, around each side here. So when you're cutting, you would um, do a half inch less. And then for the, um, the basic gray mat, I have a quarter inch, well, like an eighth inch around each side. So you would cut it down by... Um, by a quarter inch so just very simple math but I'm sure you can do it and it just I like it not exactly even I like having the larger one than the smaller one I think that looks really cool and these cards are so simple I mean all I did was stamp two stamps um, mat it twice and put add the die cut so it can't get much easier than that and they look so cool um, so that bundle is a great one to get during celebration and then you could also um, grab this as your freebie if you didn't want the um, the in the country stamp set this is a great freebie or bump up to a hundred and get both this is the paper that matches the um, greatest journey and it's got all these beautiful mountain designs in multicolors and it's one of the new celebration freebies for this month and I guess that's all I had to show you today. So I will be posting these on my blog today, craftdoc.com. I'll get those up this afternoon. That's on the to-do list. Um, see you soon. Happy crafting.